Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. Welcome to Daytime Story. I have some delicious books that I'm going to be reading today. The first book is called Dairy Free Diet by Mary Shaw. Who needs a dairy free diet? Some people cannot eat cheese, milk, or other dairy foods. They have milk allergies or intolerance. There are many foods they can eat. Actually, I am one of those person kids. I cannot eat any any milk, anything that is dairy. It is not that. Instead of cow's milk, people can drink soy milk. Rice milk is fine too. Some smoothies are made with milk or yogurt. People can make a daily free smoothie with fruit, ice, and juice. Sorbet makes a great tree instead of ice cream. is made with fruit, juice, and sugar. People who cannot eat daily can eat plenty of healthy foods. Fruits, vegetables, meats, and grains make great snacks. Many foods are made with milk. Adults who know about food allergies can read labels. They can check to see if food is safe to eat. What's a reaction? People with food allergies may have an allergy reaction. They might throw up, they might get hives, or have trouble breathing. If someone has an allergy reaction, get help right away. They need medicine quickly. Tell an adult and call 911. Be a good friend. Kids who cannot eat dairy like to play and have fun. Help them stay away from dairy. You'll make a new friend. And here there is like a safe recipe. What you need, one cup of sunflower seeds, one cup mixed nuts, one cup dry fruit, one cup cereal or granola, one cup of mini pretzels, and one cup of raisins. What you do, mix all the ingredients together, put it in a container with a tight lip, and keep in a room temperature. But remember, you have to be careful because you might be allergic to nuts. Another book, another sweet book, like I call it, it's called Sweet Shapes, a forest of tasty shapes by Juana Medina. Now you need to eat a lot of fruits and eat a lot of vegetables now, right? Sweet shapes, a forest of taste shapes by Juana Medina. Circle macaron owl. Mmm, I love macaron. Square Carmelita deer. Cross crispy rife wolf. Nine, chocolate deep pretzels mice. Mm. Triangle, lemon tart goldfinches. Heart, strawberry fox. Parallelogram, baklava squirrels. This is making me hungry, kids. Oval. Jelly bean butterflies. Red tangle brownie bear. Mm. Crescent cupcake raccoon. Oh, this book is making me hungry. Arrow. Pecan pie chickpunks. Mmm, tasty. Star. Pineapple yellow warblers. A feast of sweets. In the forest. So yummy. Oh my goodness. This book just made me so hungry. I have one more book for you. One Big Salad. A delicious counting book by Juana Medina. Can you see the salad there? I love salad. I love grilled chicken salad. What kind of salad do you like? One Big Salad. One Avocado deer. Mm. Two radish mice. 
three pepper monkeys, four carrot horses, five tomato turtles, six cucumber alligator, seven radioshu lions. So cute. Eight flying walnuts. <laughs> Nine romaine dogs. Oh, that is cute, right? Romaine letters. Ten clementine kitties. One big delicious salad. Yummy. I want some of that salad, right, guys? I hope that you enjoyed the story time for today. I have some books recommendations. Our first book is called Wonder. Have you seen the book? Have you read the book? Have you seen the movie? I just saw both. I read the book. I saw the book. I saw the movie. And this book is amazing. This book is about this little guy called August. They call it Augie's. August Pullman. He was born with a facial uh, difference. And you know, sometimes... Kids make fun of kids when they have like a facial disformity. Um, it's not the kid's fault that they born like that. It's just like a special thing. And sometimes this, this can be fixed with surgery. And sometimes it stays like that. But you have to love and accept the person for who they are. Not for how their face look. And August is like the best example for that. He has these differences in his face, but this didn't stop him from making nice friends and having a nice dog. And Augie has the extraordinary life from his mom, his dad, his sister. He has amazing people, amazing friends. And in this book, RJ Palacio, she devoted with her first book and everyone loved the book and everyone loved the movie. So I totally recommend you to read this book and the life of August. It's a fiction book. Uh, fiction means that it's not real, but I know there are many kids out there that have a facial uh, differences just like August and that made me feel left out because of all the kids that bully and that's not right to do okay kids so please when you see somebody that looks different just embrace them love them for who they are not because of how they look our next book is called mistakes that work have you ever tried doing something and then something great came out of that yes so there are many things many creations that just happen many discoveries that just happen out of mistakes so for example sandwiches sandwiches came about when somebody named earl was just playing around and gambling and then all of a sudden he was playing with his food all of a sudden he ended up making a sandwich so this this book is really funny and it's a great book to read during the summertime because you will be like surprised with the mistakes that people make that works that became an invention so this is 40 40 familiar inventions and how they came to be our next book is called cat kid comic club now you know that this is a series right so you have to read book one two three four five this is number three from the book club and this is a great book <laughs> There's a lot of things going on with Naomi, Melvin, and their siblings. They're trying to find a purpose. They're trying to find what keeps them going. So if you want to know more about them, this is a great book. This is a very groundbreaking graphic novel. And this is from the series Cat Kid. So I totally recommend you to get this book and read it because it's going to be very, very exciting. Another book that you definitely have to read is Arusha. And this is like the last book of the series from Roshani Koshi. This is, remember, the, this is the book from Rick Riordan, right? He has Arushad and the End of Time, that was book one. Then Arusha and the Son of Death, book two. Arusha and the Tree of Wishes, and that's book three. And book four is Arusha and the City of Gold book. And then number five, which is the last of the series from Rick Riordan that you want to read. Great, great book, okay? So I hope that you can read this book and read all the series before you get to this one, okay? Otherwise, you won't understand the whole uh, book stories. 
but this is a great book recommendation for the summer. Another book recommendation is The Terrible Two Gold Wild. Now, you know that this is a series, so you might want to start with number one. And this is really funny because in this series, the book, the kids just finished school. And they all getting ready to have a nice summertime. So they, they, they go into the woods. They do like a little hideout. And they all plan with snacks, juice, different things. They want to camp out all night and play. But they forgot that leafy lazy comes out and he is one of those bully the bully just barking and his fellows come to bother these people and guess what it's gonna be a lot of problems happening so this is a great story and it's also like a funny summer reading story okay so you want to see because I know you're going to be ready for your summer. Maybe you're going to summer camp. So it might be good to read this book. And then you can talk to your friends. Your new friends you're going to meet in the summer camp. About how this kid, the bully, comes to bother the rest of the group. And our next book is called Pow Wow Day. Yes, Pow Wow Day. Rivers wants so badly to dance a Pow Wow Day. But she's recovering from her still her illness and she doesn't know if she's gonna ever be able to dance in the pow wow day now this is like a native american history dance and you know it means a lot for the native american so this is a great book not only to learn about the native american but also to learn about the culture and about the pow wow dance all right so let's find out if river get to dance in the Pow Wow Day. I have two more books recommendations. And you know, Cinco de Mayo is coming. May 5th is coming. So I've been recommending some different Cinco de Mayo. So you can learn more about the Mexican culture. And why they celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And this book is called Celebration in My World. Cinco de Mayo. It gives you a little bit of history of what happened. And how they celebrate during this day. Also, if you want to learn more about bees. There's so many of them now coming into my garden. This book is called Bee Garden mini bits and this is a great book for you to learn about the bees remember we have a story time only about bees before and you learn so much about it so this is a great book that you can read and then when you see a bee you know not to kill it because she's doing her work and the seven golden rings a tale of music and math by rajani la roca is a great book not only to learn about the seven rings but to learn about the indian culture also i have another book that is called Mamilo or Milo Imagines the World and this is by Mac de la Peña and I love books by Mac de la Peña because he always tells the story and you can connect like if it was your personal story you can see here 42nd Street in New York City so this is a great book that you can read and hey Kalamata's Kitchen in Kalamata's Kitchen, travel the world without leaving your table and learn about all these different tastes. This is by Sarah Thomas. Great book for summer reading, guys. These are amazing books that you can read in the summer. And this will be reading for pleasure. Remember, I always say that, read for pleasure. And my last book recommendation is called Fatima's Great Outdoors by Ambrin Tariq. Another, another great book that you can learn about all the different type of things that as a family you can do together. And also camping, maybe in the backyard, if you have a backyard, meeting new friends. Really great books for summer reading. I hope that you enjoyed the story time for today. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I see you next time. Goodbye.